Hello my friends, John LaRoof here with another Unbiased Unboxing, and in this episode, we're going to take a look at Sleeping Gods. This is not the Kickstarter version, this is the retail version. It is a very large box. Let's see what's inside this juggernaut. Alright folks, please like and subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Really appreciate it. This box is big, and it is definitely colorful. You can see, um, you know, the artwork is screaming at you. And that's really cool. But the thing I like the most is you can kind of see right at the back what the gameplay looks like. And that is cool. I appreciate it. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. Now, again, this is the retail copy. I'm lucky enough to actually get one. They were on, uh, got a lot of allocation, I guess. I don't know. Maybe a lot of people got into it more than they expected and eventually the uh, expansion will show up soon all right so beautiful artwork inside as well and just looking at this tons of content in here okay so first we've got um well let's go to the rule book first holy cow all right so that's a big thick this is a big thick rule book lots of stuff going on in here um, but it doesn't look like it's, you know, super packed. Well, I take that back. <laughs> so this is a big, lot of, lot of explanation here. And you can see, you know, as you go through it, I just hope there's plenty of examples. I'm seeing some. All right, so you do have a lot here. You got 40 pages. I hope that's a good index too. Tell you what you need. So, lots, uh, lots to discover in this bad boy. Now, let's see what this is. So this looks like Book of Maps. So you have what looks like kind of your map game board here and different kinds of islands and artwork. All right, so these look well, well drawn. Okay, and one more I think here. All right, so that's what you've got. Plenty of places to visit. My guess is is that you'll be using that as the map. We got a quick start beginner here, which is cool. That'll help. All right, so maybe that'll just give you the basics of how to play and what to do, etc. A little walk through there. Yeah. Okay. Now, the main event, this massive, massive journal, and I'm not going to go through every page by any means, but, um, oh, looks like first off we have an achievement list here. And looks like a kind of way to do the player aid or a campaign. You know, it looks like a big player aid. Okay, so we've got that. We've got the journey log here. So, you know, oh my goodness. So you've got a lot of, you know, there's a lot there. You could take a lot of journeys. And on the back, it shows you the, the map of everything kind of together, all these islands archipelago style so that's kind of cool um certainly plenty of opportunity to replay and then we've got all these well let's do this so in this thing you've got the storybook here and just looking at it you know, as usual you've got some information on what to read what's happening all numbered here so lots and lots and lots of story and content to try to uh, get through as far as information. So that shouldn't really do any spoilage there. Just a ton, ton of stuff there. So that's cool. We've got some bags here to keep our components squared away. And then let's take out this first little, uh, let's do it this way. So we'll take out this first crate here. And inside the crate, we have some cards. 
big thick stack of cards here. All right, and let's just take a look at the quality. After I get them open without marking the sides, like I have a tendency to do, inadvertently, of course. Okay, so quality-wise, these have a good texture. They are a little on the thin side, but they do have a good texture. So they look like they are numbered, making sure you get everything. And just so I don't go too, you know, spoilerage on us, it looks like this is kind of the setup of the cards themselves. So good artwork here, thematic, you got information. So these must be, you know, maybe your encounters, your enemies, or stuff like that. <clears throat> okay, in the next box here, we have nothing. I'm sure we'll use that for storing stuff. Throughout the campaign, other stuff goes in there. In this box, looks like we're breathing stuff. We've got wooden components. So we have, looks like hit markers. They're all wood. We've got uh, wooden um, hexagons here. Sorry, those are, yeah, hexagons, some wooden cubes. And then a few, you know, another wooden stone cube. And then this one guy here. All right, so that's what we got in that situation. We also have a boat, which is plastic, and some more cards. So we've got the uh, the next deck here of cards. Let's open this up. Okay. I'm assuming it's going to be the exact same texture and quality, which wouldn't be a shocker. It better be. It's the same game. Let's take a look. Okay, so with these, um, same thickness, same texture, and you have, you know, a bunch of nice looking pieces of art, but functional situations there. Okay, so these must be your items, so to speak, that you can get. All right, then we've got two smaller decks. Small deck number one here, same texture. All those two stuck together, so just be careful as you're uh, counting. Okay, so these maybe be like effect cards or things like that. And we've got maybe my crew here. All right. So that's what we've got there in that deck. And then this one... <clears throat> Don't know if it's more of the same deck or not. It looks like it has a different back. At least I can see this side has a different back, so I'm thinking it's slightly different. But one shall find out right now. So on this back, yeah, these are different. This is a um, specific deck here that has maybe different powers or something, something like that. Okay. So same quality, same situation. All right, digging deeper now into our box. We have this chest. So this has one of those like magnetic feels to it and a bunch more decks. So I'm not gonna go through all these just because I bet they're all very similar, but it looks like this is, you know, your adventures. So you've got a deck with a bunch of quests in here. So they're disordered, but one through, who knows, maybe 180 or something like that, then your adventures, and then you've got um, this deck here, which could be events or things like that. Um, same kind of quality, same kind of feel to them, I'm sure. All right, so there's obviously room in here for more cards. To, oops, I'm sorry about bumping the camera. Move room in here for more cards to go in as you play. And again, I'm pretty sure, you know, we've got an idea what that's all about. And then an empty box here for used quests. So pretty sure when you finish your quests, you're done. Boom, in there, they're separated in the way they go. Finally, 
some cardboard components as we get to the bottom of this box. And we've got a um, normal thickness on these. Doesn't look like it's going to be any problems for them to come out because this one already just separated itself. And as you can see, there's um, this is the side for one and two players. This is the side for three and four players. Okay. And then colorful different things going on here. Different characters. They look very nice. We've got maybe different conditions, food, some information about the characters, which is cool. More characters, more food, more conditions and such. And again, more stuff. And then, oops, keep popping those out. The final punch board here. So that's what we got. Lots of content in here. I'm sure there's tons and tons to explore. I didn't open those up, but you can get the idea, I think, from everything that we just saw. So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you watching this unboxing video. I hope whatever you play in the future, you like it very much, and we'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.